And we're live, theoretically. Yeah. There it is. Oh, let me pay. Game is opening. I should make a Discord group for just people who give a shit about my streams. Probably not. And I'll post it here, and I wonder if by the time I click back to the window, Shell will be in my chat. No! Shell? What? I can't believe that, Shell. Yes. So this doesn't... I don't bark. I am streaming. Oh, when I get that notification, it might mean that the mobile app understands I'm streaming now. I wonder. Hey, turtle. You beat Shell. Impressive. Wait, am I in the chat? Here, hold on. Kind of seems like... Yep. Hey, where's the options? Hell yes. Wait. Yeah, let's give everybody their alt costumes, I guess. Oh, she's dressed like Gloria, or she's got the color of it anyway. That's cute. fine day. It was a pretty boring day. It was a Friday, I guess. Not a lot to it. Hey, Vuz. Also, hey, Vuz and hey, Maid. Ah, uh, son of Sparta. Look at all these S's. My god. I bet you can't get the S unless you beat the guy. Right? Maybe. Let's see if I can beat the guy on this difficulty. Probably not. I haven't done it yet. No, it was Friday, Friday. Gotta get to work on Friday. Everybody is doing a normal amount of work before the weekend weekend. Hi, Heelys. Are you actually sub, though? Ooh! <laughs> so this is... <laughs> it's, it's already fantastic! Hi, Jai. I almost skipped this instinctively because I forgot what we were doing. No great Yes. God, why can't I play as these people? Oh. What? Why are there? <laughs> <laughs> Um. 
ターの悪魔を甘く見る。Oh my god, it's. <laughs> you should not underestimate this demon, it's just. It's just this fucking guy. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> oh god, did I say hi to you, Chai? Hi, Chai. Oh my fucking god, the way he did the shuffle walks really, really fast. Fuck me. Jesus Christ, I wasn't at all ready for that. Um, alright, I have to buy Devil Breakers. I made I made a magazine that's just like the ones I like, I guess. But I'm missing one. I bought all of the skills, by the way, except every character has one incredibly expensive taunt that I don't I don't really know what they're like or anything. I think I saw a picture of one of them. It's an accidental spoiler, but otherwise, no. But uh, I guess I'm gonna explain the moves I have now once I'm in game. Also, I'm playing on Son of Sparta, which is the next difficulty up. The main change here, enemies do more damage and the enemy patterns are totally changed. Every difficulty after Son of Sparta that's above it uses the same enemy patterns as Son of Sparta. I assume. That's the way it always is in other games. So, uh... The big difference is that I have my arm. I can still use the, uh... The Devil Breakers. But I also have the Devil Buster. Which means that at any time I can do a Buster Grab. Although, against most enemies, they'll need to be stunned first. And it also means that I can do a... A Grapple. Even when I, uh... Don't have any arms left. And can't do the Wire Grab. And what else? I have a triple jump with a glide, which is really fun. Oh, my gun charge up works different. So I I still load the bullets and get three, like, power shots. But if I keep holding the bullet after I load them, I'll charge it up. And I can charge it up to level three, which this is just like the last game. And uh, the level three shot is a delayed explosion that's very, very powerful. And does shit tons of damage. I guess the in-level cutscenes aren't different? That's not surprising. Those are not the VAs. I mean, maybe they're the Japanese VAs? I don't believe they are. I could be wrong. I could take you with no so yeah, if we wait a moment... He explodes. Uh, and then the other big change for Nero... Is I can Devil Trigger. Devil Triggering makes, like, an attack trail behind me. It makes it so that when I shoot, I shoot out, uh, little, uh, demon, uh, demon swords like Virgil does. Oh, and, um, so in the same way that I can swing my sword and then hit the left trigger, to, like, power it up to do the seed system. Now that I have Devil Trigger, I can also hit the right trigger at the right time to make, like, a, a Jojo Punch come out. And I can do that with any attack. Um, but different attacks do different things. Some attacks do more powerful Jojo Punches around me. But, uh, it's very, very cool. But if you mess up, then if you do it too late, you'll do a buster attack like this, which may not be what you want to do. And I think that's basically it for, for Nero. Everything else is the same. I'm just better at him, hopefully. Oh no, I forgot one important thing. 
Also, sometimes I break my arms because I forget which... Because I feel like I'm playing the last game where Devil Trigger was the break arm button. While I'm in Devil Trigger, I have some special moves. That uh, eat up some Devil Trigger, but uh, do a lot of damage and are cool. Whoa! Gross. Dang, I thought I could grab him then. Man, I've been playing V, who? For a while. So I'm used to much better dodges. Oh, nice. They're not just at the end of level. <laughs> so I know that we all thought Griffin was the best character, but obviously Man Griffin is the best character. God, it's fantastic. Oh, when you're devil triggered, your your grabs are more powerful. They really went out of their way to make sure that he had all the mechanics from the last game. They gave them all back to you once you beat the game. Just in case someone preferred that, which I think is really cool, because they really did... It's pretty clear they kind of wanted this to be, like, the definitive Devil May Cry. And I think they mostly did it. I'm not without complaints, but, uh... And includes most things. Oh, there's some dork. He's not even attacking. What an idiot. Hold on, Dante. Oh, so he just has the Yamato right there, huh? Kind of a spoiler. Huh. I don't think he had the Yamato in the live in the animated thing. That must have been a change late in development. Or maybe he's just talking about the arm. I don't know. I just don't remember that line. No. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That move doesn't do damage. It's unavoidably knocking the back. Wow, two in a row, though. That's kind of surprising. Oh. Okay, three in a row, though? That's a lot. These fireballs, I don't know what the answer to them are. 
They're what's always hits me against this guy. Oh, I hit it back! Is that the answer? All the fireballs, there they are. Wow, that's so much chunky damage. Wait, oh, uh, they hit me on the way down? Well, on this difficulty, it's going to take a lot of time to beat this guy, huh? I'll give it my best, but... But considering that, like, he has attacks I don't know how to beat yet, I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to do this even if I do really good. It's the fireballs. Whoops. Well, that's shit. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Oh no, I'm not dead. Yeah, there it is. It's fine. Hi, Shale. <laughs> you missed a bit of this. <laughs> so good. I love everything about this, actually. I love how the person holding Dante was also grimacing. <laughs> or Dalte, I guess. Yeah, right? Oh no, the exercise mats! Stop hitting you, Is that... Like a phrase? In Japanese, that means something different? あの手が持つのことが。ああ。魔王を許せ。これがお前の腕を奪う悪魔の名だ。It's so good. God. 
I mean, I was so happy to get, like, the, what, ten minutes or so of this that we got in Devil May Cry 4. The fact that they did, they put in the whole game is just so good to me. And I assume, like, there's stuff they're doing here that seems they wouldn't have done it for normal previs. <laughs> oh my god, they're copy pieces! Oh, fucking good like they, they went they knew they must have known this from early in development they wanted to do the whole thing i mean i bet as someone who does previs getting it into devil may cry 3 and 4 and having people like it and like like the funny stuff you did was probably like really gratifying it's like fuck it we'll just do the whole thing <laughs> oh man, acting. <laughs> yeah, everybody over there just keep like writhing. Cool, thanks. Oh, I got in this rank without beating him. I guess I had to do at least a bit of damage. No, he didn't attack once. He was running like a figure eight pattern in like the middle of the room. Fuck that. Oh, right, this cutscene. Guy sitting in the background. <laughs> These are so good. I think that's supposed to be the jukebox. Ma. <laughs> I have no idea if these are the voice actors. I don't think so. I think it's I think it's a coincidence that the uh, that the American voice actor for Dante does mocap and stunt work. Also, I think that is not what they usually do. It just so happens he did both. But I don't know. Maybe the other Japanese voice actors. I really don't know. I've never listened to it in Japanese. I could turn Japanese voices on, maybe? If that's an option. They're so good!
What is this scene even? I guess it's the scene where they show the logo? I don't remember that. <laughs> oh yeah, remember when there were soldiers? That kind of vanished immediately. <laughs> He's just standing on a chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. I love it. やらせてやれ。やつは悪魔大使のセルモンだ。おい、何しろ、さえ、そんな悪魔じゃない。腕だって。I love the Devil Buster. It's so bad. <laughs> God. This is so fucking good. We aren't even to the emotional bits yet. Oh wait, I can just hit right bumper. Too late. Also, I probably can't because like I need to buy more. Oh wait, what am I doing? There. I'll just buy a shit ton forever. Is this the usual music? Huh. Kind of feels like it's not. Am I crazy? The sun does not feel familiar to me. I've got some cleaning up to do. By the way, the soldier's body's ragdoll. I didn't notice that first time through. Oops, I meant to do that and then that. It's too late. Hey guys, just hanging out, I guess. See ya. Got a little something for you. By the way, something that might not be obvious is that I am you doing jump cancelling now. Which, uh, if you'll remember from my previous streams of the other games, I didn't really do it much in this yet because I didn't even unlock it. But here, let's do one. So you notice that I did this move, but then I sort of interrupted it. 
So you can jump off enemies, and if you jump off them, you'll interrupt whatever move you're doing. So you can basically just use it to make combos of, like, dash at somebody. If you're close enough, you can just interrupt things. Neo doesn't get tons out of it, but, uh... He gets some out of it. Oh, no, you don't. Also, something I never noticed about the over- this- this arm here, it's actually a different attack depending on where they are. The game will automatically detect, oh, if they're above you, you'll make it a juggle. If they're right next to you, you'll knock them away. If they're on the ground, you knock them up in the air. It's actually really cool. I didn't know that, because I didn't use it that much. But I like it a lot now. Oh, this isn't a cool cutscene. This is a normal cutscene. Let me just see if it turns into a cool cutscene, but it probably won't. Okay, I guess they don't have ones for these. Then skip. I'm sorry, he just vanished while I was still smacking him. That seems not correct. I don't really understand what makes these guys vanish. It seems to just kind of happen. Did I just sword the explosive barrel? Is that what happened? That must be what happened. I didn't even see it. Oh, and every boss has a point where they're stunned, and you can uh, do the grab on them too. But you have to get them stunned in some way, usually by smacking them a bunch or interrupting a move. Hopefully, I'll be showing that off. God, it's got such a good, like, low rent TV show feel to it. Oh, what? Where'd you come from? Excuse me? You can interrupt that? Huh. Ah, wow, this thing has a lot of moves I didn't know about, apparently.
Well, I'm not gonna get the buster on it then. Oh well. All you do if you buster that guy is you like get on top of him and shove your sword in him. It's kind of nice. I think to get it I have to deflect his attacks with my sword, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Chai, that's a good idea, concept. A game where... the Like, it's a normal game, like, I don't know, a fantasy thing or something. Maybe like a cool, like, military thing, like, generic. But the meta-narrative is that the game didn't have enough money to be completed, and you're playing through it anyway. And, like, the developers are trying to finish it while you're still playing. So if you do really good, you get to see gimmick cutscenes like this. But if you go really slowly and shitty, then it's, like, overproduced AAA, gaudy, boring cutscenes. What? Oh, here's the mocap, I guess. Okay, I guess I just mix the mocap in there. Oh my god, it's a mysterious stranger. <laughs> His demon arm is great! <laughs> キリはいつもおめえ作るからな。うるせえガキどもも一緒だけど。我慢してくれ。悪い奴らじゃないんだよ。なんだよ。俺になんか用か。お前。悪魔。<laughs> it's not V, Chai. It's Virgil before he separated into V. He takes the arm back so he can get the Yamato from the arm. And he wants the Yamato from the arm so he can use Yamato's ability to cut through metaphysical concepts in order to separate his human and demon forms, obviously. <laughs> By which I mean, I have no idea who this mysterious stranger is. He could be anybody. I'm very excited to find out. I don't know anything about the story of this game. I played a similar game, but it didn't... I don't know anything about this live-action Devil May Cry. Like, it's... The plot's totally different, I think. <coughs> I need water, actually. I didn't deserve an S rank. One of my handfuls of criticisms, a little too easy to get level rankings. Oh, if you get an S rank on a level with a boss, if you beat a boss, okay, I guess I should explain this mechanic. Although it was at the end of the very last stream if you stayed real late. So every time you beat an enemy for the first time, it now takes a picture of it. 
Um, I've already taken pictures of all the enemies since I already went through the game once, so you won't see that mechanic. You can actually go and tell it to delete the photos so that it takes new ones, which is kind of cool. And like, you'll see the actual in-game photo that it takes. It's a neat concept. And there's a few I think I might want to retake because they didn't go out well. But uh, it does the same thing for bosses. It always shows you the boss photograph. But if you get an S rank, you get a bonus photograph of your character doing something. In this case, it's the only other time we see these soldiers and then they're gone forever. So, that's how that works. So if I get S-Ranks on boss levels, I get a cool photo. I think it's the S-Rank, I'm not sure. What causes it? This is the same as ever. If you guys want, I can show you all the various documents and whatever. Since I have them all, I don't know. They're fun. Cool, so I can just hit right bumper and I'm there. I'll just need to buy a shit ton of arms so I don't need to rebuy them. Got it. Whoa, there's some frame drops. Hold on. Eh, I guess it's alright. I guess it's alright. What a mess. I never know. I didn't notice this red balloon until the second playthrough. And then if you disturb it, the balloon floats away. It's cute. By the way, with the triple jump and the Gerbera, you can get some pretty crazy aerial mobility. I guess I can just skip this, huh? Oh, he died. I was just starting to get... Oh yeah, also, his midair taunt, I realize it gives you a lot of momentum. So you can just do this. Where do you think you're going? It might have been AFK. We're not really in this sort of modern city looking area for very long. Let's get airport. Like right around the corner we just go into a mansion.
Okay, you're just gonna keep running, huh? Fine. Oh, this is the other super move you get. God, his main tone is so much fun. Let's get airport. What are demons doing in a city like this? There's something to this place. Oh, that's an. I don't think I've seen that attack before. Oops, nope, don't lock onto those. Go in here. There's a little hidey hole here. I think it had a blue orb fragment or something. Oh, this isn't. That looked like it was really cool. Too bad I'm not gonna watch it. You different you do different amounts of gunshots in that combo if you actually hit the gunshot button you'll do more. Wait, no, this button. I always I still get confused between locking on and not locking on. I'll just keep following you up, asshole. Yeah, if you leave the keyboard during my stream, you have to uh, resub to me, actually. Oh my god, why is this so hard? Gimme. Thank you. I wish this charged up a little bit more. It ends up being a little dinky. I mean, I guess the real charge shot is like... Using it is like doing the actual charge shot. I wanted you to put your hood up. Punchline. Nope, it's Kerbera. Okay, I'm definitely getting frame drops. I should probably have lowered the graphics again for streaming purposes. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now if I can. Uh. 
Oh, uh, great, PC options. Just a little bit. Let's see, tell me if that messes up the resolution on the stream. It probably will make it resize, probably. No, it looks alright. Looks alright on my phone. <laughs> By the way, a cool thing. So you can... Hmm. Well, maybe not a cool thing because the game's not cooperating. But usually, you can see another V, like from the online mode, playing in that area over there. But as V, you never play through this mansion area. But... In one of V's later missions, there's a secret mission he does, which is in that area. So when you go into the secret mission, you briefly warp into someone else's game, play that secret mission, and then come back to, like... I, just, I don't know why I think that's cool, but I do think it's neat. But it looks like I don't get anybody today. He doesn't seem like a demon to me. Man, they just throw... At the next difficulty level up, they don't give you as many arms. Wait, how does this work camera-wise? Okay, it goes where the camera's looking, not where Nero is. I couldn't remember. It was necessary. Oh, I thought my arm attack would be his attack. I had a V? Did I? I didn't see one. This again. God, I love the tomboy a lot. It's just so much fun. That was the force fault, not mine. I found that secret by accident. Cute one. You're gonna make me recoil twice, huh? Oh! 
I don't care about that. Thank you for the panning. Sick of this stupid trick. Oh, I got a Chivo for picking up arms, I assume. Now they have a triple jump, there's nothing stopping me from jumping over that. Except for the fact that you can't jump over that. Disappointment. Did it just drink blood from the ground? I didn't know it did that. Huh. He went right through my series of attacks. I thought one of those would deflect his attack. Well, knowledge gained. Getting sick of this. Not gonna lie. It's new. Go home already! Right there! Now is this? Guess the phone still works. No. Took you long enough, dumbass. What happened to the third ring roll? Tell you what, you call me from now on. Uh, Yo, oops, I was gonna say I'll just make do with what I have, but then I hit A. Womp. Uh that looks fun. I don't give a shit. I made one of those for a boss. I don't remember. Right now. Ooh. Stiff. Jesus Christ, he scrushed the box though. 
まさかお前が食っちまったってことはねえよな食ってなどいねえ貴様らの血は大切な煮えてこの俺が魔界の王となるために必要なものだからな魔界のお前がやめとけよどう見たってガラじゃねえ I like the first perspective here. Didn't feel like cutting him in all the time. Unless that wasn't first perspective, I couldn't really tell. <laughs> oh my god, it's so convincing. It's like he really has a mouth in his belly. Bad line, Nero. Excuse me. I'm kicking the shit out of this dude. Although I do get that one hit on me. He's just so fun to jump cancel off of. I think this is when the game forces you to leave, because if you don't, he will suck you up. I think, but I'm not sure. Maybe you can stay in the church. Oh wait, oh no, that's not the big explosion. This might be one of his attacks is an area of effect explosion. It is that one, okay. That caught me a few times when I was playing on the next difficulty. Well, that was fast. I didn't even get to use any of my arms, except like the one. What? Yeah. 
sure that looks like Shadow. <laughs> oh my god. The Force Perspective? So fucking good. Holy shit. So that was Griffin flying around. <laughs> they put the V on it. Oh my god. クリフォト。魔界に入る最中だ。クリフォトは人の血を吸い成長する。血を吸われた人間は。Oh, so that's why there's so many human shaped statues around. I thought it was weird. Do you think Nero didn't realize that the like human shaped forms that fell to dust were humans that had their blood sucked out? Even though he's been around for like a month. Because it kind of seems like he didn't know until V just told him. Fucking beautiful. He was completely invisible. I did not see him once, so I'm gonna say he did a good job. He actually did a really bad job, I bet. That the secret mission that you see V in is one where if you you want to defeat a bunch of enemies without getting hit. So um he probably just got hit right away and didn't and then like left. Which is why I didn't see him. I'll give him a status rating for giving up. For knowing when he's beat. Oh my god, it's... It's paper mache griffin! Oh <laughs> what a touching family picture! Someone sat down and drew that instead of just, like, taking a stock image. Love it. I guess it's easier to do that than to, like, bring a printer, I suppose. Someone's holding his sword behind him! Because you can't actually holster a sword that way in any meaningful way. That's so fucking good, holy shit. What's the oh, that's right. Dante has one more move I haven't bought yet, other than the final taunt. I'm nowhere near having enough. Cool. 
car. Oh, there's a fun bonus thing that she says here, I think. I give it a... So, she doesn't say that in the first time through because you can't use your arm, but now you can use both the wire hook and your demon arm to grab the thing, so she has an extra line for that, which I think is cute. Wow, point blank. Telling me, hey, I'm almost out. Oh, come on, where's the plug? Okay, we good. Excuse me? You just missed? What? I think I'll handle the closer one first. Gotta start somewhere. All right, let me see. There are alternate paths, there are, but not here. Oh, if he breaks that thing up there, then this breaks. That's what that is. I hadn't realized that one. That's a move I never use. I should use it more. It's cool. Okay, so I'll explain. So there's a thing up on that cliff that you can choose to break as V, and it gets you to a big red crystal thing. And breaking that is what makes this explode or not, which gives us a couple of extra red things. And this might have even been a blue thing originally, I don't know. Probably not. They probably didn't make getting a blue orb dependent on the actions of another player. There's another thing like that later in the level, which I'd already realized. So this Clyphod... So there's one on that bridge, too, and if V breaks that, then the bridge falls apart. Um, I don't know if my V has not made it there or if he's decided not to break it. I think it gets V, like a blue orb fragment, to do that. But if he does it for us, it clears their path to jump that direction. Um, and if we do that, we get some red orbs and a gold orb. Which is nice. Right 
Okay, where do I have to be to actually grab this thing? There you go. Did you seriously dig away while I was shooting a laser beam at you? How am I supposed to hurt that? Confusing to me. Is it just random? Okay, so the gunshot was enough to stop it, but Overture wasn't. Even though Overture is specifically just a giant explosion. Whatever. Also, what did he just say? Wonder what who's up to? I missed it entirely. Oh, is it Kyrie? Yeah, he's just wondering about it. There's a handful of extra voice lines like that. Hmm. Looks like RV did not destroy the bridge. Very rude of him. Denying us our, like, 40 second gold orb or whatever. Rude, Imho. What if I want to respawn 42 times against the next boss? What am I gonna do? Now the roots are in my way. Whoa, careful, buddy. I love the metal funking noise that quiet would have to be coming from somewhere. I love that one.
Oh, it has a hitbox when it deactivates? I didn't know that, actually. Oh, you're still alive. I didn't realize. Oh, there's still a green arp here. It may have been a really bad idea to use Tomboy here. I'll make it work. Oh, he thought he had me. But he did not have me. I mean, he didn't actually think anything. He's a computer program. I was really expecting Chai to protest about that one. Bingo. Chai, I just said that robots can't be your lover. Effectively. And I'm... I'm a little surprised you're just sort of going to agree with that. I said AI can't have feelings. Specifically. But maybe you only want to love cyborgs. I would understand. Who is this one gonna be? Oh no. I guess I didn't do it for any of the enemy introduction ones. I really wanted to see a man burst out of a painting, but you want me to follow you? Okay. No way, asshole. I'll live with it. Ow! Brutal. What is the camera? I love that grab. It's really great. Acting like her is in a rom com. Her is just a prequel to like a robot dystopia movie, actually. Hey, so now that I can just do busters whenever I want, the buster arm is almost useless. As far as I can tell, the only advantage it has is that if I do the charge up move that makes me discard it, 
Um, the charge up move won't flinch if I get hit. So if I decide I feel like getting hit, I should probably use the buster. Without strength, arm. But I don't want to get hit, actually. You know I don't want to hold a button for several seconds so that I have the ability to get hit. Seems bad. You're all the same color? None of mine. Actually, put this arm entirely, come to think of it. Uh, yeah, let's go. You know you can set your own color, right? Anybody who doesn't set their color will be random, but if you set your color, it's non-random for everybody. Yeah, I think it's if you click the gear at the bottom of the chat, you can do that. That's why I'm always pink. Oh, nice. I almost skipped this because I skipped the last couple, but... I love that the people manipulating the action figures also emote. Like, they're acting also. It's so good to me. What, seriously? You need Turbo to do that now? That's lame if that's true. Oh, rude. Okay, why am I falling so fast? If you time it right, you can actually rev here. Which is fun. Get 
Whoops. I don't know what I grabbed there. Oh, she can hit me out of that. I did not know. Well, the more you learn. Oof. I always forget that one actually does damage, because lots of bosses have like big area of effect moves where they knock you away. The tolls are very good. Well, you sort of look like you caught her. There you go. I like how they have the piece of demon thing covering her breasts, even though she, like, she's not she's naked. That's good that they, they framed it anyway. Excellent. I get it, no place for a lady. It's a... What happened? V time. He's so into it. Oh! Check out his fucking alternate costume, it's so good. Well, we'll see in a second, I guess. Let me just make sure, I don't have anything else left to buy, right? Other than the taunt. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Loading times. That's one of my other handful of criticisms. A lot of loading screens. Check out this fucking costume. It's so fucking good. It looks stupid as hell, and I love it. <laughs> they knocked over the chair. I love V's just stone cold look. 
だそうだ<笑>だったら手伝ってやるよ<笑>だがとどめはお前の役目だぜ<笑>俺たちが所詮バブルし悪魔を殺す力はねえからな<笑><笑>This is a new move I bought, by the way. It uses up a ton of your devil trigger, and you have to teleport before you use it, but it's obviously ridiculously powerful. And Nightmare will keep doing it even. He'll finish it off even if you uh, run out of devil trigger. So it's a really good finisher for your devil trigger. Did I buy anything else new you guys haven't seen? I don't know. I know one move I did. Yes. I bought at least one other good, important move that's relevant. Which is this. Where he shoots out his head as a spike. Which is straight from the first game. It was sort of their signature attack. And just like in the first game... Hmm. He's supposed to leave it out there. You can stand on it. Which is fun. If you stand on it, he'll leave it out for you longer. In the first game, if you stood on it, it was it would force them to stay that way for a bit, and you could get uh, a bunch of hits on their critical core. Um, it was like the way to kill them quickly. In this game, it's just a fun Easter egg. I think basically everything else I already had. Maybe like one nightmare move I didn't have before, I don't know. Oh, there's one other thing. I have a move that allows me to use one bar of Devil Trigger to finish off everybody in an area. Which is a Virgil move. Only he used to do it with daggers instead of canes. Whoa, the camera didn't know where I was. Oh, it's because the man went underground. And the camera didn't really know what to do about that. Nightmare or death. Oh yeah, and if Nightmare hits, Nightmare can actually kill the demons. It takes a couple extra hits, but he can kill them with, so that, like, you know, you don't have to get off him to kill demons. So this is going to collapse that building over there, I think. Maybe? That's what does it! I've been wondering. Because it made no sense to me. It's your turn. Finally, not. Come on. 
Oh, I never noticed this room before. And there's nothing in it. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, he's gone already. Rest in peace. By the way, having played the next difficulty level, V gets so much harder in that difficulty level. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's harder to play as everybody, but like, he's basically a cakewalk. Even on the this diff even on Son of Sparta, he's pretty much just hold buttons and mash them. But you need to know what you're doing on the next difficulty level, hardcore. It gets ridiculous, especially against his bosses, which like I still don't think I figured out. It took me like. 15 tries on each at least. This bridge looks unstable. Yeah. Here's wrong. Yeah. So the bridge breaks. And if we look behind us now... Oh, you can't see the demon griffs from here, but... He can jump to that building over there now. It's cute. I like it. I like that I'm discovering new things about the game. Midair taunts are so good, and I don't know why I didn't abuse them sooner. Oh, here's a fun thing that I found out. So if you summon... I sort of knew this, but I didn't realize the importance of it. If you summon Nightmare in certain places... He'll bust through the wall. Which will be relevant once I finish this fight. I missed. Also, I watched some YouTube footage of someone playing V well because I was confused about a boss. And I realize just how fucking hard it must be for you guys watching to understand 
at all what I'm doing. Like I had explained it, Human blood is the source of this but I didn't realize just like cut off. it doesn't look like I'm doing anything at all. It looks like I'm walking around and other sh and shit is happening on screen. Incidentally, I hadn't realized. Yeah, I knew it would be confusing. It's just like I just did not consider how confusing. The best way to understand it is that um, I have a button for my cat and a button for my bird. And a button f for my nightmare man if he's if he's summoned and I'm riding him. If if he's summoned and I'm not riding him, he acts on his own. I can use Devil Trigger to make my bird and cat act on their own for a bit. Um, and I can hit their buttons plus certain directions while I'm locked on to make them do specific moves. Is the long and short of it. Um, so yeah, this is sort of an alternate path to the level. And I really like this one. I have to keep going. Nightmare does like a horror movie villain thing right here. Oh, and certain of their moves will make them teleport to me. And if they get far enough away from me, they don't like that, and they tend to come back to me. So going this way got me the access to the other, uh, parasite thing. Which I get to use over here didn't make a secret mission happen. Although I guess I have to fight these dudes first, huh? Yeah, Bannon and Harmon Smith are the ones who taught me everything I know about demon hunting. Is this a cool secret mission? I forget. Oh, yes. So each secret mission, I really like the spread of secret missions in this one. They really are pretty different. This one's great because it's, um, V Tony Hawk's Pro Shadow Border. V Vini Hawk's? T I can't make it happen. But you basically get to do, you have to collect all the red orbs. So it's pretty much just there to test your, uh, your shadow segue skills. Which is super good. With a little bit of help from your bird. Oh, 
OV birds. Yeah, it's about the best. There's, it just doesn't work, does it? <laughs> Don't eat hog fucks. Hey, game. You're doing this one again, huh? Well, we're on a black screen for like 30 seconds, I guess. How are you guys doing? How was your Friday, everybody? Except the start of stream, mine was pretty boring. It was a exceptional in its unexceptionalness. Kind of wish I'd gone down to the diner. It's apparently going to be torrential rain come Monday, so... I should just gone out. Ah, there we go. I can stop talking about myself. No one wants to hear that shit. Bonk, 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 bonk. Oh, and one more thing that might help you understand what's going on. A lot of the moves require me to hold uh, down a button to charge them up. Especially Griffin's. Basically, almost every single one of Griffin's moves charges up. Whereas with Shadow, it tends to just be like, I have to time the button presses correctly, but he has a couple that still involve holding. There is one taunt that you guys have not seen from this man. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Here it is! <laughs> he fucking tap dances because he's the stupidest. This is only going to get harder. You sure you're oh. up to it? I've never seen that one. He makes a little mini nightmare. That's really good too, actually. Come on. Come on. It was a no you had to do it to him, wasn't it? I'm gonna read in this dude's face. Oh, he didn't like me reading in his face. Someone needs to let this guy know that reading is fundamental. Like with the fun capitalized, you know what I mean? Oh, that's the other thing I should explain, which I'm gonna do once this I'm not in combat anymore. Okay, so two things. One, um, my dodges as V are really good, naturally, because he needs it, since he can't directly hit anybody. Um, but they're relying on my animals. So my left and right dodges actually use shadow. And if I don't have shadow, I do this really awkward, like, sidestep, which still has some invincibility, but it has a really long recovery. Um, my back dodge is obviously Griffin. And without it, I just sort of do an awkward little hop step, and I reach up for Griffin, but he's not there, and it's 
sort of adorable. Except that it has massive lag frames, and there's nothing less adorable to a gamer than lag frames. Um, also, same is true of the double jump, of course. Without Griffin, you just sort of reach up and you get like this tiny little grasp of height, but it's nothing. And when, when one of these two die, when they're near you, they heal, but they have to be really near you. Um, and if they die, uh, they turn into balls on the ground and they gradually regenerate, and they regenerate much faster the closer you are to them. So if you're on the other side of the arena from them, they're going to take like 30 seconds to regenerate. So you won't be getting that. But if you go right next to them, then like they only take a few seconds. A phone. I wonder if I can reach that woman. Mm. This one ain't one either, huh? Let me just see, just in case. Nah, it ain't happening. Um... In fact, if you get really close and you don't do anything, V will stretch out his hand and like touch the orb that they, the health orb that they turn into, and caress the orb. <laughs> I love how live action V is even grumpier. I'm really, really into it. <laughs> Oh, that's a voice line he doesn't say in your first time through. I assume. If he did, I didn't hear it. Kinda gives away the plot. Oops, this is not well aimed. Nailed it. That thing's really hard to aim. I, I'm still figuring it out, honestly. Oh shit, that's the attack I really don't know the read for yet. I did not see the animation for that coming at all.
I mean, if he said that line the first time, I missed it. I like this one because Dante's just. Fuck, the like the chase scene where they moved like four feet is just I mean it that blows my mind. They literally we got like one second of the mocap people, right? And that's it so far? That's weird. I wonder why we don't get more mocap. Not that I don't love these guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God. I this this V is a genuinely different take on the character. Less dorky, more stern. Probably not as good, but it I like it. They made him way more gothy. Now to find an exit. Gouging. Oh, you hit me before that happened? Oh yeah, like the audience. Honestly, the uh, the 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 fan base of DMC is probably very evenly split between people who think that V is legitimately an incredibly cool character and people who think that V is an ironically incredibly cool character. Like myself. But the thing is all of us love V. That's the magic. That's the magic. Oh, you hit me, huh? So. I don't really get what those arms are. I guess I beat it. I mean, I know what they are. I don't know if I'm... If I'm supposed to finish them off in some way, I'm not for bonus style. Oops! I ran into it with Shadow and it blew it up. Go. 
Oh, that didn't stun him. Fair enough. Oh, is this dude not going to teleport over to me? I was sure he will. Okay, do you guys remember me trying to figure out how to get this secret? It's, I, I wandered around for a while, and, and when I played the second time, I tried to figure it out some more, and I was like, so obviously this is a secret mission, but I can't get up there. May not You're supposed to be that. That's the, that's the secret. <laughs> it's cute. Ah, oh, I didn't quite interrupt him in time, huh? I really like that his taunt has real utility. Like genuinely, it's a really great way to stall yourself in midair, which is really useful for me to do. How come other games don't let me play a violin while I'm beating people up? Which one's this one? I don't know if I wanna... Oh, that's the one where you eliminate them without taking hit. It's not that fun. It's fun to play, but... And that's how you get up here. I haven't played the fitter on the roof beat him up. I have played the, uh... Oh my god. I'm forgetting the name. What is the name of the musical? Les Mis. I have played the Les Miserables, though. Beat him up fighting game. 
I have done that. That's pretty good. Rude. Extraordinarily rude. Oh, he jumped out of the way. Well, he still got hit a little bit. And then the arm comes down, please. And then I blow this up as soon as the arm. I guess I can't kill them. I just have to, I can just damage them enough that they stop attacking. I guess that makes sense. Cause that's, that is basically Nero's boss. Oops. Sorry, that was my phone falling over and my knocking my water bottle in front of my monitor. In order to charge my phone while also being able to prop it up to look at it, I kind of have to do this awkward thing where like it's balancing on its wire a bit. It's not good. If I put, I could put it in landscape, Chai, but I really, that gives me like four or five lines of the chat and I hate it. It's, it's a lot harder to read and it means I can't see my stream, which means I can't at a glance see, oh, the stream stopped working, which has been handy a couple times. Oh, that hits behind too? I didn't know that. Right. Okay, this is too crowded, folks. He does say returneth to the underworld. I thought that's what I heard earlier. Are these guys 
that's optional for my style ranking. It might be. They do give me a lot of orbs, so. Orb. Now, I assume, like the other ones, this phone will also not give me a live action cutscene. Nope. Worth a shot. Hey, by the way, think about if you want to do one more level or not. It's up to you guys. Theoretically, I should stop after this boss, but we could sort of squeeze another level in. <laughs> I mean, I intend to do the whole game for the next couple streams in live action mode, so. <laughs> so it's really just a matter of if you want to do one more now. I'm kind of into it. Oh, I think it's a short level anyway, so what the hell. I think it's one of those only a boss levels. Wow, the special effects. So this fight was hard as fucking shit in the next difficulty level. It's absurd. And what I started to, had to realize I had to learn is I had to learn how to keep my guys alive. Um, like if he's about to attack the bird, I do this. Oops, I probably shouldn't have done that while he was charging at me. Or if he's about to attack my shadow, I just do this. And I can call them back to me that way, and I use that to dodge attacks for them. Because on the next difficulty level, it gets to the point where he can kill my friend in one hit. And that's very bad. And under normal circumstances, if one of my friends dies, I can usually just summon Nightmare, because summoning Nightmare actually makes, um... Both my other friends regenerate all their health and come back to life. A rare species, but apparently not quite extinct. Until today, that is. Um, but you just don't have enough Devil Trigger to do that. Every time they die, you have to keep them alive or you're just going to get trampled. But in this mode, it's a lot easier. This dude is way less aggressive and way less fast. And I shouldn't say dude, because it's a lady. Although, I guess the horse could be a dude. I don't know. I'm not a horse person. See, like, I'm repeatedly dodging so that my, my friend stays next to me. And that forces him to start healing. Oh, he caught me in a time bubble. Slice 
So like that would have just killed my bird right there. But it didn't in this mode. Oh man, this is so much easier. Fighting the Honestly, this boss fight kind of turned the game on the harder difficulty on Dante Must Die mode. It genuinely kind of made Devil May Cry into, like, a different game entirely. It felt like a more standard action game that was very, very difficult in its own right. But now I can just kind of do whatever. Relaxing in comparison. Still a long as fuck fight. Imagine if this dude had like three times as much defense and killed all my animals in one hit. And then imagine if about halfway through he went into devil trigger form where he took even less damage and repeatedly did attacks that left him with no vulnerability. All of which insta-kill my, my, my best friends. And you'll start to get an idea of just how ridiculous this fight is. I was using my Devil Trigger there, so I was invincible if you're curious. Yeah, I would love to see V come back and get like a complexity makeover in the way Nero did in this game. Where we just like take the core concepts that are really cool and put in enough that he's like a full character comparable. I mean, not that Nero's comparable to Dante. He's still not, but he's got a lot more going on in this game than he did in the last game. Because absolutely, as much as I like V, he's very, very fun to play as. There is a point where I'm like, okay, I have done all of the moves. <laughs> like, there's there's only so many combos he can do.
So yeah, this will be my last one. It's a short level. I think it's just a boss. Although maybe the cutscenes are really long. I can't remember. And you're right about the bosses that I got hung up on Shell. The bird lady is also one I got hung up on. I figured her out later. Off stream. Turns out the answer is just to constantly be in the air and jump off her head. Who knew? <laughs> just shake it up yourself, sure. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell indeed? That's so good. <laughs> Fuck me, that's brilliant. Look at this ass. Whoa. Damn, you picked me right out of the air, huh? Oh man, I have to remember to play this character now. Hold on. So with the triple jump, it's super trivial to just get up on his back, which seems kind of silly, but... And then he does that, which is supposed to make you fall off, but you don't have to. Oh, he's doing the same side again. Where do you think you're going? Ah, I didn't jump at the right time. I was a fool. Whoa, what is this attack? I don't think I've seen that. Oh, one of them hit me, whatever it was. Oh, double, huh? Tricky. I didn't know you did that either. There's like a million ways to get back up on there if you fall down too. It's a fun boss. Oh, it's gonna come up right where I'm on it. Oh no, I'm good. Sort of. Oh.
俺は先へ進む<音声>さっさとこいつをぶち壊さなきゃな I wonder what the buster is on this dude. <laughs> He just goes and sits in the chair, that's so good. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna remember your name, dude. I don't think it knows what names are. Okay, you're gonna have to get all the way up before you let me on, I guess. Oh, I didn't see that spinning disc until the last second. I guess I'm okay, though. Or I'm not. Gotcha. Nice. I actually finally managed to beat one of those with a big final attack instead of like killing it with my bullets or something. Lady got me on some stuff. Is Kimo Haki Stru. Nanika Kitako got a key to me. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna call it there, I think. It's it's late. It's been two and a half hour stream. I won't keep y'all, even if you keep watching. Uh, I will probably take two more streams to do this at the rate I'm going at, I think. Give or take. And after that, I'm not totally sure what I'm doing. I have a couple options. We'll figure it out together. Oh yeah, that's another thing that changed. Now these screens... Um, they used to show, like, specific bits from, like, whatever mission you were about to do, but now the main menu just shows, like, everybody hanging out. Like, Virgil just hangs out in here with Nero, and, like, it, it's just, it, there's different ones every time. They're kind of silly. I like it, though. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Virgil's like, what do you do? Whatever. There's a couple different scenes, and the different scenes have different camera angles, too, which let you see different characters, but, uh, yeah, anyway. It's fun. I like how much they put in, uh, once you're done. They're not really done at all. They want you to keep playing, which is good. They actually encourage people to replay way more than they did in the other ones. I think a lot of people just beat Don't Make Cry 4 once and was like, well, that's fine. And didn't realize, like, no, it's not even good to you play it the second time. But this one, they really guide you in. They really make it clear, like, this game goes on. As long as you want it to. And speaking of going on too long, 